Hi, I'm Jeff Richmond Mall. I'm the Curator of American Art at the Georgia Museum of Art. And I'm here with two of our paintings by the American artist Lamar Dodd. Uh, Dodd was born in 1909 in Fairburn, Georgia. He studied at the Art Students League in New York and then returned to the South in 1933, teaching art in rural Alabama. Uh, this self-portrait was done in 1936, one year before he joined the faculty of the University of Georgia as part of this larger nationwide initiative to bring practicing artists to colleges and universities to become artists in residence. And Dodd was a central part of the, the development of the School of Art uh, at the University of Georgia, and uh, so much so that the School of Art today bears his name, the Lamar Dodd School of Art. I wanted to focus though on one of Dodd's paintings of a southern subject. The painting is called Copper Hill. Uh, it's a painting of the Ducktown Mining District in southern Tennessee. This, this is a mining district just across the border from Georgia in kind of the Appalachian region of, of, of Tennessee. Ducktown was a mining district that was highly active throughout kind of the middle of the 19th to the early 20th century in, in mining metals, particularly copper. And uh, the, the Tennessee Copper Company was responsible for this particular site. Uh, the, the, the issue with this site was that uh, because it was just across the border in Tennessee, the devastating environmental consequences of copper mining here in this, in this region did not really affect the citizens of Tennessee, they affected the citizens of Georgia. Citizens of Georgia just across the border from this area of Ducktown were affected by acid rain, toxic fog, uh, poisonous water runoff uh, from the smelting process that the mining companies performed to, uh, to produce their, um, their copper. And because of this, the citizens of Georgia had no real recourse in civil courts. They couldn't sue the Tennessee Copper Company because they were across state lines. Uh, so their, their court case actually ended up in the US Supreme Court. Uh, and this case, uh, Tennessee Copper Company versus Georgia, um, led to uh, an injunction ceasing all mining activity at Copper Hill. Um, the, the Tennessee Copper Company eventually settled with these citizens whose land was being destroyed, whose livestock was being killed, who themselves were suffering uh, health uh, uh, impacts from all this pollution. Uh, they settled with them uh, to create what is essentially one of the first pay-to-pollute systems in, in American legal history. So there's a, this is a, an incredibly important site from a historical, environmental, and legal perspective, and Dodd is painting it three decades after this court case, after um, mining was supposed to have stopped at this site, and we still see the ravages of the mining process on this landscape, uh, which took still many more decades to recover. The, the hill has been totally caught, cut away. Uh, we have uh, indications in the sky uh, from these, these dark storm clouds and the rain that falls on the right of that acid rain and these plumes of smoke that reference that toxic fog and this water that runs into the foreground as if into the space where we're standing. Uh, all those, those sources of, of, of toxins and poisons that were, um, that were harming the landscape, killing species. Uh, and, and it's also a painting that, um, you know, with these utility lines that run through the center of it that look almost like crosses, there's a sense of mourning that, that Dodd is communicating here as if this is uh, a, a graveyard, a, a site of, of, of death and devastation. Um, and so his, his painting is a really important and uh, I think sublime, but also sorrowful commentary on uh, the state of this, this landscape in the South, this, this part of the country that, where he grew up and that he so loved.